Hey, today we're going to talk about scripts in Home Assistant. Do you want to know how to work with scripts in Home Assistant? Then watch this video. So you use Home Assistant and maybe you are wondering what scripts are about. Well, what you can do with scripts is that you can execute different actions one after each other. But then you can say, yeah, but I can do that in automations too, right? But the thing is that sometimes you want to use the same repetitive tasks of actions one after each other for different automations or within different scripts, or maybe you want to have that same repetitive task in an automation and in a button. So that is where scripts come in handy. And I'm going to show you how it works. So let's dive into this. So we're going to configuration and within configuration you have this option scripts right here. And here you can create all your scripts. Basically it works sort of the same as automations. So if we go to scripts and then click add script, I'm going to add a script to let's say turn off everything on the ground floor. So I'm going to give this script a name and I'm going to say it's switch turn off the ground floor I can give it an icon but I'll leave it to this um, I get two underscores here sometimes this is going wrong so I'm just removing one just to be sure um, and the first thing that I'm going to do is that I'm going to turn off the lights in the living room and for that I'm going to call a service and the service is lights.turnoff and the name of the entity is lights.livingroom which is a group and I explained how groups work in the light group video you can find the link below so this is turning off the lights in the living room then i going to turn off also the lights in my garden so another service service light dot turn off and the entity is garden garden spots which is also a light group i'm going to turn off another thing in my garden which is a device actually this is a smart plug and i can choose the actions here i'm going to turn off the smart plug and let's say i'm going to turn down the heating also so i'm going to add an action here and that is a service and it's a climate service so climate well i'm going not i'm not going to turn it off but i'm going to set the temperature to let's say 15 degrees celsius so climate set temperature, I get all my climate things here, let's say living room, service data is temperature 15. So I'm saving this script and now I have a script switch, turn off the ground floor. And if I run this script, all the lights turn off in my living room, in my garden, in the temperature. Is going to 15 degrees but you don't want to go to this interface to turn off the ground floor or to run the script you want to do it probably through your Lovelace uh, dashboard so let's create a Lovelace dashboard for it let's go to tutorials I'm going to create a new dashboard clicking on the three dots on the right upper corner add a dashboard and I'm going to add a new tab here so I'm clicking on the plus Let's give the title script for now. Save. And I'm going to add a card. And I'm going to add a button here. I'm keeping this really simple. You can make it more fancy, but it's for the basics now. So what do I want to do if I click on the button? Um, it fills the entity with, uh, automatically with a default value. So I'm going to remove this one. And I'm going to search for my script, which 
is called ground floor script to turn off the ground floor well, I want to have a different icon so let's say MDI power and that's basically it so I'm going to save this stop the edit mode and if I click on this button now then it turns off all the lights on the ground floor and also sets the temperature to 15 degrees so that's working brilliantly now I have a button and that button calls the script but I also want to have that this script is being called at 12 o'clock at midnight so we are going to create an automation and for that we go to configuration automations I'm going to add an automation in the right lower corner click on the plus and what I can do is here I can already type something that I want the automation to do or I, I can select a blueprint but I'm not going to use that I want to show you guys how, how, how you can create your own automations so I'm going to click on start with an empty automation we're giving it a name let's say switch and I want to have a trigger so I want to trigger it at 12 o'clock at midnight so I'm going to go for the time trigger here I'm going for a fixed time so at time 0 0 0 0 0 I don't want to have a condition and now I'm going to call the script here which I'm going to do with the service in the actions part so let's add a service call service search for ground floor script switch turn off the ground floor save and now I have an automation ground floor switch turn off ground floor at a specific time which is the thing that I just created so at this moment this automation will automatically turn off the lights in my living room in my garden and turn down the temperature to 15 degrees at 12 o'clock at midnight so this is basically how scripts work it's very simple and it can be really powerful if you want to have repetitive tasks that you want to use in different parts of Home Assistant. So you don't have to create all the tasks every time. So you just create one script and then you have different places in Home Assistant that calls that script. I hope this video helped you. If so, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, share the video and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.